Hey, what's up guys, this is Val. So in today's video, I want to talk about a little more playful style or lighting style, if you will. And you know, normally we use either some kind of HDR map. In this case, I'm using Stonemason's uh, Gothic Ruins 2 prop. And I'm using Dimension Theory's Skies of Iridians, one of the presets here. Or we, you know, use, let me just turn it off. If you click on here, we're going to use the built-in IRA global lighting solution. And this can be a lot of fun and so forth, but I encourage you, I want to encourage you to kind of start playing with lighting a little bit. And we're going to do a little bit of hide and seek today. So first of all, we're going to use the built-in IRA here and create kind of a nighttime setting with it. So in order for that to happen, we need to turn off the sun. And uh, that will happen if you go to disk, sun disk intensity, right? Enter zero, that will have no sun. However, we still get lighting from the sky. And also, the sky is kind of brighter on one side where the sun was previously placed and a little bit darker on the other side, which means the prop still gets a little bit of kind of shade and brighter look and feel on the prop, right? We want to avoid that. So I'm going to lower the sun time or time frame. Excuse me, I'm going to increase the time in order for the sun to set. This will darken the sky. And that was a little bit too much, maybe. Too much ain't good, right? Let's see if I can. Get to almost set here. There we go. Now we can go ahead and increase the environmental intensity. Simply because it's very, very dark, right? So we're still getting a little bit of you know dark and bright look and feel there, but it's it's kind of okay. And what I want to do now is Get rid of the line we're seeing here, you know, this horizon line, by simply increasing horizon blur. So I'm going to enter 4. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is go to tone mapping and set a little bit of colder color scale. I want this to be kind of a blue tone, sunset-ish, almost night color scale, right? So I'm going to go and choose a red or orange tint on the white point which will set the lighting to a little bit colder looking. And we can exaggerate this quite a bit, just going full force here. So that will give us the blue tone, almost night set, right? Night time. And now we can lower the light just a little bit. Maybe we can use uh, environment, and we're gonna use intensity around, uh, let's say 30. Okay, or maybe 35. Now, the second part of this is that we can start, you know, playing with an additional light. And in order to do that, we have to use dome and scene in the render settings. If you do not use that and add an additional light and you just play with the dome, like so, and then you throw in a light, in, in this case a point light, the light will not be visible, all right? But if we do dome and scene, we'll also now include the scene light we have added. So what I wanna do is simply turn on top view and hidden line. That was a bad idea. Let's keep texture shaded and uh, zoom out a little bit. I'm gonna throw in a working light I usually use distant lights for that. They are very easy to just, they do not render in the final render, but you can still use them here to, you know, angle them a little bit so you can see what's going on. Uh, so it's a very cool thing to do. So what I wanna do is place this light in this one here, the point light, and do a little bit of hide and seek. So I'll place it up here. 
up here. And I'm going to switch over to perspective view and just raise it off the ground. I want it to, of course, be visible, right? Not underneath everything. So the light is kind of hidden now up there, upstairs, which means we can go with our camera a little bit closer, like so. We no longer see the light, all right? But now we can start play with the light. And, you know, I've learned this by, you know, in the movie industry, I've spent two decades behind the camera in a professional manner. So I've learned a lot about lighting and how, how to light scenes, where to put lights and all that. And so let me just save the scene and I'm going to just adjust the light. Perfect. So I'm going to turn on the video area preview, turn off our distant light and select the point light here. Now go to parameter setting, click on the light sub tab and I'm going to choose a warmer tint on it. It's always good to go in pairs. You know, contrast is always good if it has something cold or blue tone. In this case, our, you know, sky or light then it can be a good idea to match that with a an opposite light that's warm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just quickly adjust this environmental lighting. So it's a little bit darker. I want almost, almost a night feeling here. And also I want to get rid of this orangish tint that comes from the previous sun location. So what I can do with that is... Let me just look at it. We can turn off the physical scale sun. We don't need it. We can also use haze. Haze will get rid of some of that light, you know, um, strength, if you will, and just go with a more almost gray all over. And now we can just include more intensity. So there's a lot of you know, things you can do inside here. Um, It's almost like that. And also we can rotate it now. So we get a different angle and this orangish tint, we can almost place that behind. Let's see which angle it needs to be one, maybe 120. So now it's kind of behind and you see this yellow tint up there, which will match our magical light. That I'm gonna bring forward in a second. So let's maybe use, I don't know, 40. All right, cool, let me save. All right, so this light, we're gonna change the geometry of it to sphere. I want the light to be a little bit softer. So I don't want it to be super, super sharp. I want it to be kind of a little bit softer, right? So for that to happen, we gotta increase its size. So let's do that. We change the geometry of the light to sphere and increase the size. And now what we can do is simply increase the lumen value here until we see the light. And this is kind of a guessing game. You gotta do this a few times until you just get right. All right, but you can see now you have a totally different look and feel. And we can make this light a little bit more. We have a blue toned kind of color scale overall. So we're going to push this light to very warm in order for it to become warmer. All right. What we also can do is rotate the dome some more until we hardly see that, you know, orangish thing from the previous sun location. And now what we can do is scale this down a little bit, so we get less blue so we can get more orange on that. Excellent. And now it's a matter of positioning that light, you know, where it does its magic best. But as you can see now, immediately we have, the light is hidden. We cannot see the light, but we can see its effect. And when combined with this blue, we, we can now play and create really cool tension in the render. And 
what's cool about this, you have full freedom of, you know, moving the slide around. We can move it up and down, uh, up to illuminate more from above and engage more with the scenery or lower so it doesn't illuminate so much on, on the floor and so forth. So you have a lot of options. See what happens if I increase the light's height just for fun. I'm going to just go into here and uh, let's say I put it five meters up in the air. That will totally change how the light affects the scene. It will look different. It will reach in a different manner, different, you know, it's going to be a different mood. And now I'm going to counter the intensity because we are farther away, further away. And I can probably go more here as well. All right. So, guys. That is pretty much what I want to cover in this video. I want to, to kind of start hiding the lights and have some fun and combine the light with something else. And like I said, you can have a lot of fun with this. And guys, if you want to, you know, learn more about Dash Studio and lighting and cameras and rendering and all that, we have pretty much eight creative paths, eight different clubs where we teach in our weekly releases. So check out the link below for more info about that. And guys, I'm gonna leave you now. And with that, I wanna thank you for watching this video. And go ahead now, start playing with your renders, with lighting, and create some amazing art. All right guys, thank you so much, and see you soon again.